congratulations on your overseas success, um, especially with Crazy Rich Asians and Charlie's Angels. What was it like, especially working on Charlie's Angels, and how was Elizabeth Banks as a director? Oh, she was lovely. You know, it was so she was so approachable before I even. Uh, left the States we filmed in Berlin before I got on my flight she sent me a lovely email welcoming to the project and, and that was just this weird moment of Elizabeth Banks just emailed me it was crazy and when I got there very welcoming uh, and she did so much she was producing writing directing and she had her hands in everything and, and she just knew what she wanted so great director uh, and also it was just it was fun on set she was she yelled out things for us to say and we get different takes so we, we had fun we had fun filming Fantastic. Can you tell me about your upcoming project? Yeah, I've got a film coming out next year called Palm Springs with Andy Samberg and J.K. Simmons. Uh, it's uh, hopefully going to be at Sundance and it's, uh, it's a fun comedy and I play an absolute ocker Aussie. Fantastic, thank you. Hello, um, can you tell me how was it like working on Spider-Man? Oh, that was a dream come true. You know, it's uh, honestly, it was, it was such an honour and a privilege to be given the opportunity to work uh, on a franchise that has some of the most impassioned fans in the universe, you know, and I think that's just such an amazing place for any actor to be able to work in. Yeah. Are we, do you know if you're going to be in the next film that's coming? Uh, you know, we all sign multiple contracts, um, but our lips are sealed. It is Marvel, you know. Um, and any upcoming projects you can tell us about? You know, I just got back home to Australia not too long ago, and um, I'm, uh, you know, I've been dipping my toes back into our homegrown Aussie industry, um, auditioning for more Australian projects. And so, whatever happens next, I hope that it's Australian. You know, I love the stories that we tell here. I love um, the the, uh, the content that we create and the artists who create it. Um, so yeah, that's that's what I what I want to be doing. Hi, how are you doing? See you again. Every year I see you, we talk about genre films, you've been in 100 Bloody Acres, which I love and so on and stuff. But now I have to ask you, Tarantino film, the big step, what was this big step of your career and what was working with Quentin? Yeah, it was uh, definitely uh, beyond my wildest dreams that I would get to, to be in a Quentin Tarantino film. It's obviously a very small appearance, but it still was, it was four days of uh, the most fun I've ever had on a set, I think. He was... Uh, he was really exactly as you'd imagine, really enthusiastic, full of energy, full of ideas. And he's a big fan of Australian films. So did you get to talk to him about Australian films and stuff like that? Uh, a little bit, yeah. You know, he has an encyclopedic knowledge of most things, including Australian films. Uh, so yeah, I, uh, I, we, we, we chatted about some stuff from the 70s and uh, yeah, he, he, he's an amazing man. How do you react when you say you got told like you're going to be Charles Malson in the film? What the such a controversial character. So how do you get into a role? I know it's a small role, but how do you get out? Well, it, my first reaction was, because I was already playing Charles Manson in a TV show called Mindhunter at that point. Right, yeah. And so I thought, oh no, I'm not gonna, he's gonna take the role away when he finds that out. Uh, I'm, I'm actually gonna have the, the role um, uh, retracted. But um, then when I found out he was fine about it, I, I got very excited. I, I mean, it, and, and, and yeah, just, just really started watching and reading as much as I could about the guy. And also, congratulations on Secret City. It is, you know, such a highly acclaimed show and you're working with such tremendous Australian actors. Um, what really drew you to, you know, going in, into the political scene with that show? Um, well, you know, the, the first season was so phenomenally realised. It was good, uh, great storytelling, you know, good, sophisticated drama, and, and, you know, the people involved behind the scenes and in front of the camera were, you know, people that I would l love to work with and, you know, have wanted to work with for years. Uh, so the opportunity to work with them, again, was, like, not to, one to be turned down, so... And to tell, you know, to tell... You know, at that time, we were shooting it, there was a lot of stuff happening in Australian politics that was pretty... Um, how it's I always say? tumultuous, isn't it? A little bit flamboyant. Uh, so it's always nice to be able to, you know, relish in a world that is, you know, is so public every day anyway, and and retell a different story. I just want to congratulate you on having the honor to fight with Jackie Chan. Oh yeah. I, that was unreal fighting with Jackie. Oh, I was working with Jackie and preparing the stunts on the team. It was amazing. I trained very hard, so I did like eight hours a day with the stunt team, and um, it was the most challenging morning experience. He's amazing. He's so professional. And I felt really safe with him because Jackie Chan. 
I was really nervous I wouldn't look any good compared to him fighting, but they helped me a lot, so yeah, my well, First off, congratulations on 2014. It's such a powerful film. What was the inspiration for you to kind of create that film? Uh, being an overwhelmed dad, pretty much, with a two-year-old daughter at the time and not knowing how I was going to convey so many of the complexities of what's going on in the world at the moment and then certainly what her future is going to look like. So I sort of went on this four-year quest of trying to find some of the solutions so that I could reassure her or talk to her about the good things that are happening as well because all we hear is how bad things are. The production design is so creative and interesting. How did you kind of come up with the, the, the that concept? Well, I think it's really important that if you're going to you know, ask people to sort of go along with this vision. It had to be really playful and imaginative and really high quality. So we had a great production team and design team and that was the best part of this job was sitting down and having discussions about what side of the road a driverless car would pull over on or what kind of trees would grow on a rooftop. It was a really creative and collaborative experience. And again, if you want to entice people, it had to feel magic and wonderful. So we took a lot of time to get that right. Yeah. What's your advice for people that want to really help out with climate change but maybe don't know where to start? Yeah, it's really, it's really important, I think, right now that people do find their own agency. We, I think we're in a, a, bigger, a bigger predicament than a lot of people realise. And I think it's just finding your own agency. Find that thing that you resonate with, that you're passionate about. It might be food, it might be fashion, it might be energy, farming, who knows what it is. Just find an area that you connect with and then just investigate how you can get involved at work, at your school, in your own community. We just need everyone to find their own agency in some form at the moment. Fantastic. Thank you so much for talking to us. Enjoy your night.